Android facial tracking. It's finally here and it's super accessible. Stay tuned to this video to learn more about it. Hey, if you want to see an IRL tour of my entire setup, and basically I'm going to go through with a camera and point things out and explain what I have, please like and subscribe, share the video around because if, when we hit 50,000 subscribers, I will do the IRL tour. So this is a question that I've been getting a lot on comments, on my live streams, twitch.tv slash or check me out once a week here on YouTube. Uh, just like and subscribe, get that bell notification, is Android facial tracking. For whatever reason, people just have this hate for Apple. But if you want to see my reason why I recommend iPhone for facial tracking, please check out this video that I have right here that basically explains the reasoning and all the alternatives that existed at the time. But today is a very different story because a new application came out made by a fellow content creator, Suvi. Suvi is another YouTuber who makes a lot of great resources for the community. So you can check out their Twitch and their YouTube and their Twitter linked in the description down below. Please check them out. They're a wonderful, wonderful content creator. Android facial tracking, as outlined in the video that I talked about earlier, if you don't want to help me out by just watching the video, please, I need the views, please. The, the basic summary of it is that the iPhone has a depth sensing camera, a depth sensing camera, whereas the Android phone just is a regular, plain old, regular camera. So it doesn't have any depth sensing to it. It's just using a picture. In essence, all webcam only or camera based tracking that doesn't have any depth sensing or LIDAR basically relies on algorithms and compute power to make up for its lack of information. Ba basically, it doesn't have that depth sensing or extra sensor information to work from. I have seen camera based tracking that's super, super amazing, but it always comes at the cost of compute or post-processing. In a moment, we're gonna show you a comparison between iPhone facial tracking and Android facial tracking. Both of these solutions um, are free to use. Uh, you can check out my video on Wide.io here or linked in the description down below. And then, like I said, there's gonna be a link to all of the things that you need to know in the video description, they're both free things to use. And I'm gonna be showing you a side-by-side -side comparison of the Android facial tracking and the iPhone facial tracking. So for um, iPhone facial tracking, I'm gonna have a link listed down below of iPhone's compatible devices. Essentially, if it has Face ID, it should work. I'm testing an iPhone X versus a Galaxy S8 Plus. They're both sitting side-by-side -side and have an equal view of my face that is super, super well lit for this comparison. Okay, so here is the side-by-side -side comparison between the Android facial tracking that is made by Suvi and the iPhone facial tracking that exists right now. I have them both unplugged, so they're not directly plugged in by a wire. They're operating on wireless. They're operating on the same wireless connection and they are side-by-side. -side. So, and they both have a clear view of my face that is completely well lit. And here you can see the difference between them. If you have an Android phone and you don't wanna buy an Apple device, it's essentially a no brainer. It's better than webcam tracking that you can get out there right now. So right now the iPhone is probably the gold standard, I would say in terms of how it's um, handling facial tracking. This is the first official release of the application on Android, so it could only get better. So I, I definitely think it's something to keep an eye on. Personally, uh, I don't see myself switching anytime soon, uh, just, just because I do find that they, right now, at this time, the iPhone tracking is just a lot better. But like I said, if you don't have an iPhone, it's a no-brainer to get it working. Of course, though, you need to have the, um, the AR kit or Apple blend shapes for facial tracking on, on your model anyway. So um, I would say that there's like a really clear difference between the two side by side, um, especially when you're trying to capture like live speaking. It uh, it doesn't seem to be as quick and how it handles the blend shapes are like a little bit different. It's really good at handling the eye look. The mouth from side to side movement is good. It gets the tongue out, which is nice. It gets the blink, which is really nice. The eyebrow movement is a little bit weird. 
And I would find like like some of the shape keys are a little bit too um how do you say the the transitions aren't as smooth. I would say. But this is much better than what you can get right now for webcam based tracking. And I would say if you already have an Android phone, this is 100% like worth it and I would definitely say please keep an eye on this application because I could, I think it can only really get better because I, I believe this is just the first release of it. But in terms of like one-to-one -one accuracy with my facial tracking, the iPhone um, obviously is better. If you want more information about the application or want to get to know the creator of the application, like I said, all of those links are gonna be down in the description below. Thanks for checking out this video and uh, special thanks to all of my patrons on Patreon that are going to be you're going to see on the screen right now.